Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Adam Ware. Uh, I'll be talking about the uh, Sculpture of David by Michelangelo. Uh, so some brief facts about the sculpture. Uh, it was created between 1501 and 1504 by Michelangelo. It is a marble statue of the biblical hero and king, David. Uh, it was originally commissioned to go into the Florence Cathedral, but was actually placed in public view in a public square. So some brief facts about the sculptor, Michelangelo. Uh, Michelangelo has been noted by some as being one of the greatest artists of all time. Uh, Michelangelo is best known for his frescoes found on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. <coughs> as you can see, the uh, Sistine Chapel, the ceiling right there is on your right side. Um, you can see all the uh, different pictures that he displayed in this art, in this sculpture, this artwork. Uh, you can tell he put a lot of time into it and effort. Uh, so born in Italy in 1475, he passed away in 1564. Much of his life was spent in his beloved Italy. Uh, so a little bit about the sculpture. Uh, the marble that was used to create this statue came from a quarry in Tuscan, Tuscany, Italy. The dimensions of the sculpture are 17 feet by 6.5 feet. Um, as you can imagine, that is a very tall sculpture, very wide as well. Uh, the sculpture actually weighs more than 6 tons, which is over 12,000 pounds. The commissioning of the sculpture. So originally commissioned by Art de Lana. A cloth guild. Their desire was to have 12 large statues of Old Testament characters. So Michelangelo was not the fir first sculptor to actually work on this. Uh, before Michelangelo there was two other sculpt sculptors that worked on this sculpture. Um, both, of, both of them actually quit and then Michelangelo came on and finished it as the third sculptor to finish this piece. First two quit on the piece for various reasons. From start to finish, the statue actually took 40 years to complete. Uh, as we said, it stood 17 and a half feet tall and six and a half feet wide, weighing over 12,000 pounds. Um, you could imagine it probably did take a while to complete. So analysis of the finished sculpture. As you look at the finished statue, you will observe several techniques by the sculptor that makes this statue so iconic. So four different techniques uh, that I listed here or detail, harmony, balance, and the form of the sculpture. I'll talk about each uh, each one of those uh, later in the slides. So the detail. So right here you see I have listed four pictures uh, just of his front side of the sculpture. So David's very precisely detailed as we can see in the pictures. <clears throat> These details help make the sculpt sculpture look more lifelike and more effective as a sculpture. It was the goal of Michelangelo to make this sculpture as anatomically correct as possible. I think, and so does many others think, uh, he excelled at reaching this goal. As you can see <coughs> on the left side, you see a, uh, the picture close up of his hand. As you can see, the uh, bones outlined um, in his skin and the veins coming through his hand. Um, I think that shows you how physically um, strong he was so does these other pictures as well just as this second one you can see that um, Michelangelo did a great job at carving out the uh, muscles in his abdominals and the rib cage and so on uh, third picture of his feet you can see you can even see the crevices in between his toes and his toenails you can see um, the ankle and so on running down to his toes. Uh, so the fourth picture is a picture of the face. As you can tell, um, his facial emotion, or his, you can just tell that he's very serious and um, looks pretty intimidating, I would say. So notice the details in various parts of David's body. Um, as we went over those four, I think it shows um, how long Michelangelo spent on this sculpture. Uh, so the harmony of this piece. Uh, I have a picture of the piece right here in the right hand corner. So this sculpture exhibits great harmony in that the texture of the marble is consistent throughout the entire piece. 
The smooth form of the body makes for a very harmonizing sculpture, as well as the base of the statue also adds harmony as well. Each of these add greatly to the overall harmony of the entire sculpture. <coughs> so the balance. Uh, anatomically correctness of the sculpture as well as the proportional proportionality of the sculpture led to a very balanced piece. In other words, one part of his body is not overly detailed or larger than any other part. Uh, if so, this would strongly interfere with the overall effectiveness of this piece, and I think it would throw it off and obviously wouldn't make it as great as it is. Um, as you can tell, his you know his arms are proportional to his body, and you know his legs aren't overly skinny or overly massive. Uh, fits perfectly to his body, and I think it. I think it looks great. Uh, so the form, the form is very evident in the statue of David. This statue is considered to be a sculpture in the round. This means that it can be viewed all around, from the sides, uh, the front, and the back as well. There is not one part of the sculpture that is less detailed or less carved than uh, another. So I have a picture of uh, the front side of the body and the back side of the body um, here on this slide for you to show that not only the front side was very detailed but the back side as well uh, so the particular statue has a great form due to the entire body being visible as you go around the sculpture so the placement of this uh, of the sculpture so while the sculpture was commissioned to be placed in a cathedral uh, it actually never made it there so a group of artists got together including uh, da Vinci which decided that it should be placed in a public view so originally it was decided that it should go at the entrance of the Palazzo uh, Vecchio. So, and then eventually, uh, due to the weather and weight of the statue, it had to be moved inside. It is currently placed in the Academy of Gallery in Florence, Italy, if anybody would ever want to go see it. Um, I think obviously that it was a good idea to move it inside because, you know, obviously they worked on it for 40 years and it's a very historic piece. So I wouldn't want the rain or hell or anything to bother the statue and ruin the statue. So message of the statue. While the original purpose of the statue was to pay tribute to David of the Bible, uh, it has came to mean other things as well. As I mentioned, um, in his hands and in his um, torso, you could see the muscles and the veins in, in his body. Um, so this also came to represent war in preparation for battle. Uh, as I talked about in the uh, facial expressions um, on one of the slides, how he looked uh, serious. So um, I just said it comes from the facial expressions of David in his tensed pose, as I talked about. Also, because of the very muscular body-like statue, it also come to represent physical fitness, as I talked about in, in his hands and in his uh, torso. So in summary... Uh, David's one of the most easily recognized works of art, not only from the century it was created, but of the whole world. Not only is it a great work of art as far as the detail, balance, and form, but it's also a meaningful work of art as well. Uh, meaningful just as uh, showing, showing of someone in the Bible, one of Jesus' disciples, uh, just showing his physical, physical uh, toughness and other things as well. So there's no doubt as to the effectiveness of this piece of work and should always be remembered as a masterpiece of art. I think not only that Michelangelo worked so long on this uh, on this piece and uh, I think it speaks to how it turned out, how how defined and how great that the sculpture turned out. I don't think uh, that's it's one of the reasons why it should be remembered but just also because of, of David and and how he was one of the 12 disciples and Michelangelo and others wanted to uh, create all statues like that but David ended up becoming uh, the best statue and obviously I think we all agree on uh, that just from how it came out and the front looks just as good as the back side of the statue and it can be viewed from all different areas um, and he spent such such a long time working on that. That's all I got. Uh, here's my sources right here. Thank you.